So I was lucky enough to actually get a moment with Mayor Kent Gwynn of Ocala. And we're at this great coffee shop downtown. And I had to ask, there are three things that buyers from out of town want to know why they should move to Ocala. And these are the top three things that I get asked all the time, pretty much the same questions. So instead of me telling you why I think it's so great you should move here, you should probably hear it from Mayor Kent Gwynn. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Stacey. and you don't know what I'm gonna ask you. I know what you're gonna okay, ask Okay, okay. So, um, first of all, why is it called the horse capital of the world? Well, back 20 years ago, we got that uh, title trademark. But here's why it's called the horse capital of the world is because we have so many different breeds, right? Might be Arabians, Pasapinos, Thoroughbreds, and it just goes on and on and on, quarter horses. So that's the reason it's called horse capital of the world. Obviously, we have a lot of Thoroughbreds. We have the horse farms that you sell yes. and such. Uh, with the Hunter Jumpers and the World Equestrian Center. And the World Equestrian Center kind of put the exclamation mark on horse cow in the world. So we're, we're thankful Absolutely. for that being here in our community. But that's why they call it the horse cow in the world. And so many different Trademark, groups. right? Yeah, trademark. Okay, very competitive, right? Yeah. But Ocala's got that title. The second question I get asked all the time is, is Ocala a safe place to live? And I live here with my family. I moved here 16 years ago. I absolutely love it, but that's a common question I get. So um, when someone asks that, tell me about Ocala. Is it a safe place to live? Sure. I mean, we rank in the top 10 uh, cities in the country uh, as being safe. Matter of fact, just you know, a few minutes before you walked in to do this interview, the gentleman told me, you know, we feel so safe here. We moved here from Dallas. We have a historic district. Our kids go to the schools, 8th Street School, Little Elementary School. But we love it. So, yeah, I mean, I don't care whether you're a Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, whatever you are, everyone wants to be safe. So, you know, our police department, we practice community policing. People call it broken windows policing. And it works. I mean, we take care of the little things, make sure those are those are done so that they don't become big problems. And it's a safe place to live, work, and fly. Absolutely. I love living here. My kids feel safe. I've always felt safe. And um, it's it's good to hear that we're in, what, the top 10? Yeah, the top 10. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. The last thing I always get is when people are thinking about moving here, what's in Ocala, what's new, what's coming, why should I invest sure. in Ocala? Well, I mean, depending on what kind of business you're in or if you're retired, there's just right here where we're sitting, there's going to be a major development across the street with residential in front of us here. There's going to be some Class A office space just on the other side of the boulevard from where we are. There's going to be a parking garage, more residential, retail. This building, the historic building we're sitting in, is going to be completely redone. There'll be a boutique hotel and a uh, beautiful I love coffee it. shop here with residential. And you know, two or three of the floors. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of opportunity so for anybody moving. Downtown, the square is, I, I see it's very quaint. It's, it's very historical. historical. Right. There's cute little shops. There's not franchises around there. It's, right. it's that cute downtown town that's yeah. really, you know, there's so much more than, than right. downtown with World Equestrian Center, um, which is like, what? 10 minutes down the road from here. But um, there is so much more coming. And um, what do you think that people want to come to Ocala? Like what like what things do you think should be here that people often ask for? Well, I mean, a lot of times when companies come here, they ask me about um, downtown. Do you have a vibrant downtown? Yes, we do. They all, always ask about the schools because our kids are gonna go to school here. Or if they're an employer, the people that you know uh, work for them are you know uh, going to have kids that go to school, and they ask me about the arts. Yep. You know, and we've got all three. We've checked all three of those yes. boxes, especially the arts. And we've got a lot of things going on, you know, in the arts and variety and you know, a variety of different things. There is something for everybody here, right. but it is quaint. But you're close to everything. Right. An hour from Orlando, two hours from Tampa, yeah. and yet there is such peace, and we have year-round good weather. Right. Oh, absolutely. So you can't beat that, right? Yeah. yeah. So okay. Well, there you have it. I hope that helps.
make a decision for you if it, Ocala may be a place for you. Until next time, thank you.